Greetings ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to another tutorial with Mr. P. In today's video we're going to be doing our first look at Bolt. Now the first thing I like to do when I open up uh, Unity is to change the layout. So I like to drag my project up over to the side of my game and minimize that down, minimize the console down and minimize the hierarchy. Right, then if we right click on project I prefer the one column layout it's just the way I like to have the scene layout. So once I've set this up, I go over to our default scenes over here and I save my layout. So mine is set up as my design layout. So now we've got that set up, let's add some folders. I right click on my assets folder and go create folder. I'm going to add a four different folders here. So I'm gonna start off with my prefab folder then I'm going to add in a folder to hold my scripts, which with Bolt are called macros. So I'll make a macro folder. I'm going to create a folder to hold animations, which I'm going to call anim. And then I'm going to create a folder for my sprite spin, that this is a 2D game. And so now I've got these five folders set up, I'm going to download and install Bolt. To do that, we go to our asset store. And once your asset store has loaded up, we just go to search for assets and we search for Bolt. Right, and this is what it looks like here, Bolt Visual Scripting. So once you open this up, you will need to download it at first. I've already downloaded it, so I'm just going to then, once you've downloaded it, click on Import. Now once it's imported, it will come up as an Import Unity package I'm not going to change anything, I'm just going to go straight to import. Alright, once it's imported, you'll notice you now have in your assets folder an install bolt. Now, you can run through whatever .NET you have if you know. If you don't know what .NET you have, you can simply go up the top to tools and go install bolt. And once your bolt has finished uh, coming across, it will ask you to import it again. So we will import. and then it will unpack everything for you. All right, so once it's finished unpacking, it will come up like this uh, with the Bolt Setup Wizard. So I just go to Next, and it gives you two options. It gives you Programmer Naming and Human Naming. For this demo, I'm just gonna run with Human Naming. I'm not going to adjust any of this. I'm just going to straight down to the bottom and go to Next. And same thing again, go straight to the bottom and press Generate. And once again, once it's finished your setup, we just close it. Uh, and you'll be now be able to delete your install Bolt folder. So if you just right click on the folder, go to delete, and delete it. Alright, so now I'm going to jump back into my scene. And then in the next video, we're going to start setting up our game. See you guys in the next video.